I'm Kayla with CheapHumidors.com and today I am reviewing the Black Crown Sons of Anarchy Clubhouse Edition, the chapel size, which is a 6 inch by 52. It has an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and Nicaraguan long fillers. It is rated as a medium to full bodied strength cigar. It has a lovely wrapper. Most of it is covered by that giant band, but it's very nice. It's a little bit rugged, but there's not a lot of veins to it. It's a pretty little nutbag color. The length of this stick is plump and well filled. Um, this is, of course, a cigar that was made to celebrate this, the show Sons of Anarchy, which I don't watch, but I've heard very good things about this line. Um, this is actually barrel aged in an old rum keg that is fired, so it's not a lot of rum flavoring, but it's very woodsy, apparently. So we are going to give this a shot and see how it goes. Alright, the cigar cut nicely with my double blank guillotine cutter. There are no shards of tobacco on there at all. It was a nice clean cut. The cap was nicely placed. No issues there. The pre-light aroma is a bit sweet with notes of nut and toast. The cold draw was a little uh, semi-sweet and heavy with black pepper. The first few puffs were really, really dominated with crushed black pepper, but we're gonna keep smoking and see what it develops into. All right, it is about an hour in and the first third after the first uh, peppery flavors, it really mellowed out nicely. Um, and it turned really deep and earthy with a bit of a leather aftertaste. And then in the second third, it started out with more nutty flavors. It's a really rich, deep flavor um, with toasted nuts and a little bit of sweetness to it. The draw so far has been excellent. Tons of smoke, no problem there. The burn line is beautiful even though I dropped it and uh, it split up the side a little bit, but it, even that didn't cause a problem. It's actually been a wonderful smoke so far. All right, the total smoking time, bless you. The total smoking time was just over an hour and a half. Uh, the final third was just as nutty and rich as the second third. And as you can see, the burn remained even throughout. The draw was amazing. Uh, this is, a line by Myron Dutch, who owns Cigars International, and I'm always a little bit hesitant when I'm trying a cigar that is kind of a themed release, such as a Sons of Anarchy or something like that, but this was a delightful surprise. It was really rich and nutty throughout. The flavor profile was just excellent. It was right up my alley, um, and it's rated as a medium to full, and it really was. There was just enough nicotine to pack a little bit of a punch, but it wasn't over overwhelming at all. Um, this is actually a really great cigar and I would definitely recommend it.